Sometimes love can be quite puzzling. It's our time with Mr. Mayberry. Hey, let's get creative. Happy Valentine's Day and welcome to Art Time with Mr. Mayberry. Today we're going to be making a heart puzzle. I'm using a piece of cardstock because it's lightweight, easy to cut, and it's sturdy enough that it should last a long time as a puzzle. Also, I have an envelope to put the pieces in when we're finished. You'll need something to color with, whether it's crayon, color pencil, or marker. So let's get started. It's time to make some hearts. Okay, first thing you do is to take your cardstock and draw a heart as big as you can onto the cardstock. And then after you have it drawn, then you color in color in your design, whatever you'd like to do. And I would recommend putting a picture on the front of some kind. You can include words, but you want to have a, something that uh, will help you to be able to try to figure out how to put the puzzle together. So some type of picture that covers as much as you can of the heart. Then after you have your uh, picture finished, then you cut it out. And then you can turn it on the back. And if you have a message you'd like to write, you could write that on the back. Um, and if this is specific for some person, you can you could actually give this as a Valentine to someone, and so you might write a personal message on the back that they can get the message once they've put the puzzle together. They can figure out what you're writing them, that what you've written to them. So after you have your um, design on one side and some type of a message, or you could even make another picture on the back, then what? Then that would give you two puzzles. Then you cut out your puzzle. And you don't want it to be, it depends on who it's going to. If you have really big pieces, it's easy to solve. If you have really small pieces, it's going to be harder to solve. So you'll just have to think about who you're giving this puzzle to, or if it's for yourself. And then cut that into a, a number of pieces that seems appropriate for whoever you're giving that to. If you cut it in too many pieces, it's going to be almost impossible to solve. And so I wouldn't recommend cut, cutting it too small, but cut that into several pieces. And something else to think about is if you're going to put it in an envelope, which is I would recommend that because then you have a safe place to, to keep the puzzle so you don't lose pieces. You want to make sure that your pieces are all going to fit in whatever size envelope you have to put it into. So make sure the pieces are all going to be big enough or small enough actually to, to go into whatever envelope that you have to put it in. So that's what you do then. And you can address this if it's a, a valentine for someone. You could put their name on the front and you put the pieces in and then you can give them the valentine and they have to put it together to get the figure out what the picture and the message look like. Figure out what the picture looks like and what the message is. So that's our project for today, a heart puzzle. You might make two puzzles, one to keep and one to give away. Well, thank you for coming to art class, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, Mr. Mayberry. You complete my heart puzzle.